Michael Buffer, Dean White, we've just seen the press conference, AJ and Usyk head to head. Dean, I'll start with you, what did you make of the two going up against each other? It was cool, it was quite calm. Um, Usyk's a character, he came in with his mental warfare, in the suit he was in. That my, my friend here said, the, the, the only thing he left was the, 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 the pink facing and then he would have been the joker. <laughs> this is mind games at his finest, red suit, green, whatever um, tie, he's all over the shop. But Andy Joshua's seen this all before. Obviously, it's a, a different opponent, but same rules apply. Like he said, gym, day in, day out, eat, sleep, repeat. Yeah. So I believe it's, it, you know, he's, he's seen everything, everyone's. He's fought, like Eddie said, he's fought a lot of the top, top boxers around, and he's, and he's had many different mind games with many. Probably no one as much as Dillian who's got in his head as much as Dillian got. I, I think what he really brings is, uh, besides that great personality, he's so he, he's always fit and focused. A hundred percent. Really, a hundred percent. And that's going to be the difference and, in this fight. As so well, is know? AJ. I mean, no. I, you know, nobody beats AJ for being fit. No. What, what, what I'll, 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 I'll add in that moment there before, because there's times where people's question AJ's fitness. He being the Usyk fight. Remember where? Not Usyk. Sorry. I mean Klitschko fight yeah. where he kind of took a few rounds off to get his kind of win back because he was breathing quite heavily. And I think since then AJ's, had, you know, like he's number one in the heavyweight division and he's a poster boy like Canelo so he has the best team around him since the loss to Andy Ruiz he has come back bigger better and stronger in this yeah. case this moment he's, he's lost a lot of weight and he looks leaner sleeker faster and more efficient so he can last the duration like you yeah, said he's, he's, he's learned more about himself and his which is and, and you know I'm sure you've gone through this mm -hmm. you, you have different stages as an athlete regardless of your sport where you oh, let be like, where, where you um, make yourself a better fighter by and experiencing something that you didn't want to happen, and then you can just be better. I, you know, as an announcer, I've had the same thing happen myself. Like, oh man, I didn't want to say that, and I tried to be better. Yeah, you know, in, in, in your case, and, and other fighters and athletes, something happens that makes you better, and sometimes it's something you didn't want to happen, but then you readjust. You say, oh. I can, I can do this better in his step up. And that's what AJ has done. Talking of seeing it all, Michael, just, just quickly, you've, you've, you've seen everything. And, uh, there, there is to see, well, between the two of you, everything from every level. Where does this stack uh, through the years of history of, of, of boxing that you've experienced? Fans are back, new stadium, exciting stadium, cruiserweight champion, heavyweight champion, all these factors mixed in. Where does this stand? That, that's a question it will be easier to answer after it happens, <laughs> but going into it, Everything that's happening right now leads us to thinking this could be a great night for the fans, for the sport, and for the two fighters. Yeah, I agree with what you said. You can't um, say where it stands because the fight hasn't happened. Right. There, there hasn't been a, tory, a story to tell to define the history of this fight. Obviously, looking at it as fans, because I'm a fan of boxing first and foremost, that's why I put a lot of energy and I support a lot of the guys, especially the home guys as, as much as I can, or guys in our stable. But I'm a fan of boxing first, so when you look at this, it looks like, okay, this fight's actually been done, because obviously it weren't going to be done because of the, the likes of who's looking forward to the unification with Fury and him. And then now uh, this was, the, it upset the apple cart. This, you know, that fight didn't happen, whatever happened. Now we've got this. This is an intriguing battle in itself. South Pole coming up from unification, unified champ coming up, and him putting on all the, the weight he's got on him, his neck's bigger, his shoulder, he looks like he's filled into the muscles. Um, the heavyweight division a lot better. Um, as we saw him, he didn't give much away, but he je definitely looked like a bit more yeah. of a fully fledged he heavyweight. Up to, to and, um, more of a heavyweight. Exactly. So right. I think this far it might be one of those. It's going to be a chess match because both guys are very intelligent, high IQ, and I think it will be one of them ones that the, the person who makes the mistake first might pay dearly because at that kind of level you can't really Could make too many. Yeah, you make can't make too many mistakes yeah. because you just get paid. But Joshua yeah. has the power to kind of make it uh, a full well, change at any moment. Yeah. Um, Any moment it could change. Yeah, so, and and what you were calling out before was like that that moment with uh, Vladimir when he dropped Vladimir and then kind of like went all out and gassed and then ended up getting knocked down the same round. Yeah. That's a learning ex experience. Absolutely. And that that made him a better fighter. Um, the, the fight with Ruiz, he he wanted to be in the rematch. He wanted to be. Quicker and use his feet more and his grab and speed. And, he did it. and I think that's what we're going to see now because the power is still there. But power in both no, hands. That's the still power there. is there, but what I would say, he looks smooth 
at the media work the other day. He was fluid, his yeah. footwork was looked Smart. nice, it looks it looks it, it looked subtle. For some big guys when they move it looks a bit clumsy, looks a bit too heavy, but his footwork was fluid and that you've seen that change, that subtle change from the second fight in Saudi when he fought um, Andy Ruiz and um, he, he kind of nullified everything Andy Ruiz and, and done the movement. So yet again now he's lost more weight so that means he's gonna be faster, sharper and he's getting when you're sharper and faster if you're accurate it equals damage anyway. Yeah. He's, always, he's, he's always had great legs and footwork. Yeah. But he never had to use it because he was whacking guys out exactly. in three rounds. But it's there, and he knows it. And he knows he can depend on it and and use it, not not use it in, a, in an emergency, but just use it from the first spell. It's gonna be a great fight. It's gonna be a great fight. Looking forward. Oh, and to by it. the way, I'm actually the same size as him. I'm sitting down right now. <laughs> Absolutely, it's the main man. Come on, man. He's on the yellow pages. He's yeah, on the box. Listen. Listen, boys, it's, it's always, always a pleasure to catch you with both of you. We'll see you Saturday night. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.